Hello everyone, hello everyone, this is Narvin here, and we are going to do some more sniping on Call of the Dead. This is part 4 of my sniping only run, I hope you guys have been enjoying, and let's get into it. So, according to my last video I posted of this, a lot of you guys want to see the survival mode, which is really awesome. I, I like that because... Survival mode is badass. I fucking like it. It is zombies times ten. Like it is way more intense. The the rounds don't take forever to get through. All around, I like it. Um, I don't think I could say I like it better than zombies, perhaps, but it's different. It's a nice change of pace. The biggest factor I like about it most is like we got to forty two on resistance. And that took us an hour and a half. Like, to get the 40s on zombies with two players, it took a couple hours. It took like four or five hours. Like, that is a giant improvement. The biggest problem I had with zombies was the length of time it took to get through a long game. If you wanted to go to the high rounds, it would take hours and hours of gameplay. And, honestly, it would be hours and hours of extremely repetitive gameplay, really. Especially if you're going for a world record solo run, I mean, that's just running circles with a thunder gun or a wave gun or whatever gun you have in that map. So, I do like the improvement of that. Um, I haven't... I'm, I'm level 50 now in survival mode, so I have everything unlocked. I've used everything, and we're developing strategies now. I didn't actually play much any at all yesterday. Um, I actually just got Skyrim, so I've been a little distracted. And we'll see what I that game is amazing. I'll get into that later though. Um I also people said they wanted to do uh see some of maybe the spec ops modes, the missions, which is very similar to the Modern Warfare 2 style spec ops missions. I might dive into that. I haven't actually checked that out. The only one I tried was like the 45 second uh, gun range run or whatever the hell it is. I don't even know what it's called. But it's it's pretty cool. Um, I haven't checked it out, so I might dive in. I might try some first impressions of that maybe since I haven't really tried it. Let's see what you guys like. Uh, as far as people keep suggesting vlogs, uh, you're not going to see me. <laughs> I will say that. I, it's a personal thing of mine. I don't want to show my face to you guys. It's just this is like my online persona, and I want to keep it that way. I want to keep my my online video game life separate from my real life. It's, I'm weird, I, what can I say? It's just this one little thing. This is my guilty pleasure. As I've said before, my friends don't even know I do this kind of thing. This is kind of like a little secret thing that I do. I don't even know why, it's just, I'm weird. I, that's the best thing I can explain, I'm weird. I like doing things like that. But, so I was thinking maybe something like a, how would I say it? A, a Zlog? Z-log? Zombie log? <laughs> I don't know. That's the best I could do for you. Just, but the only thing with that is, if you like your live commentary or you like my live commentary, your live commentary. If you like my live commentary, it's a little different from commentating over the video afterward. Like right now, I'm not even watching the video that's going to be over top of this. I'm kind of just talking at my ass, which I probably should be watching, but it is what it is. I mean, it's. I don't really need to watch it every once in a while. I'll mention something when I did it before, but I don't know. I just I I have yet to decide how I want to do things. I've been trying things out, giving things a go. I if you've been following me for a while, you've known I used to try let's plays and stuff. They didn't really work out for me just because I don't know. I feel like people get bored of the game before I can like finish it, and. If it's a short game like Portal, when I did that, it seemed to work, but if it's a longer game that would take like 100 plus parts, it just seems like to me, people get bored of it before the end, and it just gets to the point of nobody cares. Uh, so, I, I'm trying new things, trying different things out, see what you guys like. I'll post certain things, like I posted the Battlefield 3 montage, it didn't really go over as well as I wanted. It wasn't really an edited montage or anything, it was random clips that I just got and I threw together. People seemed to like it, but I was hoping to get a little bit more um following. But, I mean, if you guys watch what you want to watch, I'm not, at, I'm not forcing you to watch anything. I want you to watch what you like, like the videos you like. 
I mean, I know what you want to see more if you like those videos. I don't personally ask you to like videos usually. I don't personally ask you to put comments on videos. And I don't personally ask you to subscribe. I don't think I should have to do that. I think if you like my videos, if you watch a couple of them, you're like, hey, this guy's actually alright. You subscribe. If not, it's no biggie. It's, that's, how, that's how life goes. But I don't ask for likes. If you like the video, you know to like it. I mean, it's not a surprise. It's not like you're new to YouTube, most of you probably. Most of you know how YouTube works. Most of the other commentators will f shove it down your throat, so it's hard to forget. Um, so I try to stay away from that kind of stuff. As far as stuff on my channel, I want to get closer, do more of the open lobbies. Or more. I just want to start doing open lobbies. Um, it's been suggested that I, was, I try survival mode open lobby. The only reason I can't really do that, honestly, I can't do it. The only reason I don't want to do that is because survival mode is two player only, or one to two player. And I feel like I would not really be including enough people to make it worthwhile. It would only be one other person, and if I do any any uh, open lobbies, it'll probably be something like, I think what I would want to do is start out the day, I would, I'd pick a day, and I'd be like, this day, I'm going to be doing open lobbies all day. If you want to be part of it, send me a message, blah, blah, blah. Don't send me any messages yet. I haven't decided what day I want to do it yet. I'm thinking next weekend, uh, but I haven't decided 100%. But I, what I'd start out was I would pick, like, Modern Warfare 3 I do for a set amount of hours, and I'd play uh, online private matches with you guys, however, whatever games you wanted to play, you want to play Domination, you want to play Kill Confirmed, you want to play Team Deathmatch, you want to play Free For All, you want to play whatever, whatever the majority of people decide in the Pacific Open Lobby that we're in, um, that's, that's what we play. And after that kind of trickles out and we get a good amount of people playing that, I'd probably switch over to some Black Ops Zombies. If you guys want to play that, if not, it's whatever. Um, I try to get some open lobbies with that. It's kind of the same as survival because you can only get three other people in there. But I know you guys like your zombies. I know it's a lot. A lot of you are subscribed to me, so I do want to support that still. I don't want to kind of get away from that. Uh, I haven't decided what I'm going to do for PlayStation 3. I might do a couple PlayStation 3 open lobbies and then a couple Xbox open lobbies for zombies. I don't have all the maps for X for uh, PlayStation 3, so. It's kind of like, eh, and I'm an Xbox player, so playing on PlayStation isn't as comfortable to me. It's a little, a little awkward. The controller is completely different. Oh, not completely different, but it's it's definitely very different from the Xbox controller. And I know you can get uh, Xbox-style controllers for the PlayStation, but I don't got that kind of money. Come on. I already bought four games this last two months. I spent like $250 plus on video games. Like, that's way too much money. Um... <sighs> what else? What else? What else? So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do any. I don't think I can do anything Battlefield Three while with open lobbies because they don't have private matches. I don't think, which is kind of lame. Uh, I don't know how I'd be able to do that, so I'm probably gonna stay away from that. Plus, I don't think very many of you. I know a couple of you have Battlefield Three and you're probably playing it, but it's not a big thing on my channel. Uh, it's not. I'm not annoyed by that or anything because personally, I think Battlefield Three is one of the best games I've ever played. Best multiplayer experience I have ever had playing any first person shooter. Better than Modern Warfare, better than Modern Warfare 2, better than Black Ops, better than Modern Warfare 3. Just better. <laughs> Just hands down, better. I, I'm sorry, this is my opinion, this is how I think of it. I'm not saying that they were bad. All right, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, my personal opinion, I have more fun playing Battlefield Online multiplayer than I have playing any of the Call of Duty multiplayers. That's just be purely because of the fact of how different they are. When you're playing Battlefield, you get into massive firefights, and there's bullets flying, and you get suppressed, and there's things exploding, and buildings are falling down, and rubble is falling, and you can hear the little pebbles on your feet as you're running, and... You just get way more into it. It's way more uh, immersive, I feel. When I play Call of Duty, I just like run and gunning, just like, ooh, arcadey, shooty, fun. And it's fun, but it's, it's not the same fun. Um, so that's my personal opinion on the two games. Personally, multiplayer-wise, Battlefield 3 wins every time. Uh, other mode-wise, I'm going to have to say 
Call of Duty's got that one down with the zombies and the survival mode. The Spec Ops is whatever to me, but the those two those two modes alone have completely cornered that the extra mode options for games for me. Cause honestly, the co-op missions for Battlefield were very very Spec Opish from Modern Warfare 2 and I guess Modern Warfare 3 at this point. So. I didn't like any of them. We went through them all. I do like the fact that you can unlock multiplayer weapons doing it, but that is what it is. Ah, do 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 do. Um, what do I want to talk about? What am I at here? Ten minutes. So I guess I could dive into Skyrim just a little bit for the end of the video. I got Skyrim yesterday. I wasn't going to get it, and my brother kept telling me about it. People kept telling me about it, and I kind of just said, "Fuck it," and I went and bought it. As of right now, I've been enjoying the crap out of it. Skyrim is going to be my own little personal game, though. I don't really plan on posting any footage of it, so don't expect that. I don't think any of you really want to... I don't want to say don't, you don't want to, but most of you probably are more focused on the zombies and survival mode and stuff like that anyway, so you probably don't really care about that. If I posted, it would get, like, 50 views, which isn't a bad thing, but I'm just saying, compared to zombies, it just wouldn't get the same. So it's going to be my own little personal game, like when I play zombies in survival mode and all that stuff, I think a lot about my channel when I'm playing that. I think a lot about trying to get good gameplay for you guys using some sort of tactics that make sense. Uh, I just, I focus more on my channel and playing, it, it, it takes away a little bit of the fun of the game, but at the same time it adds a different tweak of fun, so it's, it's a catch-22 kind of thing. It turns it a little bit into work. I don't want to say work, but I mean, it's a hobby that I do that others can enjoy with me, so I guess that's kind of cool. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, Skyrim is definitely going to be my own personal game. It's going to be the game I play while I'm uploading videos, the game I play while I'm rendering videos. It's going to be the game I just I just play when I'm doing other th when I can't be recording or doing things for my channel. Um so that's basically how I see that game, but I do want to highly recommend the game. If you like role-playing games, if you like Oblivion, if you like Morrowind, um, I can't say if you like Dark Souls because I never played Dark Souls, um, but I, I, I do highly recommend it. It is a fantastic game. I've had pretty much nothing but fun playing it. Uh, there's been a couple moments where I got a little annoyed, but yeah, that's every game. I mean, that just happens, but it's just... It's beautiful for one, like the game is just just phenomenal looking. It looks so good. And I just love the fact that I look at a mountain and be like, I'm gonna walk to the top of that mountain. And then I can proceed to walk to the top of the mountain if I can find the path. <laughs> I've tried to do it once and I couldn't find a fucking path to the top of the mountain. It was pissing me off so I just gave up. But it's just cool. I haven't really gotten too many dragon fights. I've only fought one dragon. The only footage I can actually think about uploading would possibly be a dragon fight or any random funny stupid clips of something happening, but most likely I won't upload anything from Skyrim, so don't expect it. I was thinking maybe record a little small commentary over like a double dragon fight. <laughs> double dragon all the way. Um, so I was thinking something like that. That might be, that might be kind of neat. I don't know. We'll see. So, do, 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 do. I think that's about it. Um, I wanted this to be a little longer, but 13 and a half minutes, maybe about 14 minutes, will be long enough, I suppose. So I do hope you're enjoying this. I know it's not live, I'm not quite as good. Just let me know, do you want me to continue doing my zombie videos this way, or do you want them to be live com? Because I can do them, uh, vlog style, I guess, and that way I can actually update you on certain things, and give my opinions about things, and just talk about random shit, but, I don't know, it's up to you guys. So just tell me, do you want the live comms more, or do you want this style more, like the commentating after the fact? I don't know. It's up to you guys, because I want to focus on making my content better for you. So give me any suggestions that you think would help my channel out. If you see somebody else suggest something, you would think, that guy, he's got a good point. You should do that. Like his comment, because comments that have likes are usually things I'm going to follow more, or usually things I'm going to try to listen to more, because I know more more than one person thinks this way. So, leave comments, I suppose. I don't like asking for it, but uh, the more that you leave comments, the better I can provide videos for you. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and see you later.